Paimano Ani, an 80 year old man from Umwatu Boma in Akebugu, Enugu South local government area, has a story that resonates with many. Our first encounter with Pa Emmanuel was at the now defunct Heritage Bank, a retired civil servant who served at the Nigerian Population Commission, NPC, in Enugu. Emmanuel still receives a meager monthly pension of 18,000 naira. My pensioner, I come to them, but you know, know anybody answer me. Huh? I didn't be old man. Huh? You know good. That's why I come. You say make I go back, tomorrow I come. Where the money where they take on come? To understand the challenges Pa Ani and others like him face as pensioners, Signature TV visited his hometown, Umatu Boma. <laughs> We are here with Mr. Annie Emmanuel, a man whose resilience and dedication has been tested. I am the national population, MPC. Hmm? I worked with National Population Commission, MPC, in Enugu. I started earning 18,000 naira only as pension after I was forcefully retired. I only worked for 15 years instead of 35. The money I'm being paid does not sustain me. I have five children. The money can hardly sustain us. In a country like Nigeria, where social security is absent and a man's children have become their insurance in facing the vagaries of retirement and old age, Pa Ani's story is really a sad one. Having lost some of his children and the surviving ones still struggling with their careers, he faces the dual challenges of old age and being the sole breadwinner for his family. My children are not around to take care of me, and my immediate siblings are busy fending for themselves. My wife died two years after I buried my daughter. What I'm struggling for now is how to get money to buy snuff and sell. A development expert and lecturer at the Institute of Development Studies in University of Nigeria, Enugu Campus, Ben Wonsu picked holes with the treatment of Nigerian workers, arguing that the plight of pensioners is an invitation to corruption for those in service. People collect finances, buy properties, invest for the rainy day. Because the government is making that rainy day, or the pension fund management system is making that rainy day a fear someone with the way the, the pension fund of the country is being managed. You want to guarantee that at least when you finish service, no landlord will come and harass you for house rent, and at least you have one additional one where you, where you get money for monthly feeding and then buy your medication if you have uh, medical conditions that require uh, such attention. So it's a unique way of hiring corruption to work for the society. And that's quite unfortunate. Is there any avenue for pensioners to seek redress? Professor Nkechi Obalobi teaches law at Nnamdi Azikiwe University in Oka. Yes, they have a right. And their right is born out of the provisions of section 36, one of the constitution, that where there is a determination of the right of a person, the person can assess the court under section 36 of section one. Then if you move further under section 16, 2D of the 1999 constitution as amended, you also see that pensioners have a right there under that provisions of subsection D where the law states that you must take care of them, their old age, their pension, they can ventilate their grievances before a court of law. Pa Ani's story resonates strongly among other pensioners in Nigeria. At a recent verification exercise of pensioners by the Enugu state government, it was also tales of woe. I'm sick and I'm old and uh, I, am, uh, I, I, I have no help. Um, for many years, I've been uh, unable to do this. This, I want help. My, my problem, my immediate problem now is to pay me my 
my gratitude. That is my immediate problem, to pay my gratitude. My brother, my brother, yes. He, he, he was paid a few months, few months before he died. He died uh, since January 2015, and the, the, the pension was stopped 2015, August. To, to continue the pension, if they can pay the gratuity, good and fine. Because the children are suffering so much. As the arguments rage, people like Pa Ani continue to suffer with no end in sight. Um, many people have been known to die waiting for their gratuity. And oftentimes, um, the next of kin or people who are on paper to um, um, receive these payments may not be very properly streamlined, such so that some of these funds um, go unpaid when the individual um, dies. Uh, 18,000 naira, strictly speaking, cannot, you know, if you are very conservative, it might just serve you for two days. You might just feed for two days with it. But even the 18,000 naira, I, I bet you, is not consistent. It's not consistent. But people still go to queue up to receive it. And for the sake of this 18,000 naira, they are still asked to come for verification. Eh? Some of them travel from villages to come for verification. Sometimes you see long queues of frail looking old people waiting to be verified. The struggles of Emmanuel Ani are not unique. Many elders in the society are facing similar hardship and challenges, highlighting the urgent need of government and non-governmental organizations to look into the welfare of pensioners and elderly ones in the society. Chinemere Mikebuna reporting for Signature TV News.